Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Jason Wilness versus Alex Pereira. He took the glory belt from then champion Simon Marcus in New Jersey at Glory 33. Please welcome Jason Wilness. They call him Psycho because once he gets his prey in his eyes, he looks crazy, Joe, and he has massive power to back it up. Yeah, he has a nice high guard defense. He's going to walk you down, put you against the ropes, and then there he unloads. He's got good body punches, good head power punches, and he's got some vicious low kicks. In his last fight at Glory 63 Houston, we saw him with a nice low kick TKO win over Jacob Rodriguez. He's gonna need those low kicks against the taller Pereira tonight. Sold out crowd here tonight. The vast majority will be cheering for Utrecht's own Jason Psycho Williams. Five rounds for the middleweight championship of the world. Featuring a champion drawing on the warrior spirit of his ancestors. The champ's here. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And it's the reigning and defending defense of the belt in New York City was marked with one of the great knockouts in all of 2018. Here is Alex Pereira. Poetan Pereira, hands of stone, making his fourth title defense. And yes, Jason Wilness has beaten this man before, but that was four years ago. Does he look anything like the Alex Pereira of 2015? No, he's evolved and adapted so much. And when he first came in, he was only really known for his boxing, had a lot of good power in his hands. And then we started seeing him become a complete kickboxer. And now one of his most dangerous strikers, those knees, and watch the way he puts them together. Here's our tale of the tape for the middleweight championship of the world. Alex Pereira, 31. Wilness, 28. The Brazilian, three inches taller and will have an extensive seven-inch reach advantage over Wilness. Professional experience, the edge going to Jason Wilness. And both with very similar win percentages, but Alex Pereira has been on a tear with his boxing and his, and his finishes, so expect Pereira to stay patient and look for it. Inside the numbers, 
Jason Wilness having more glory fights, but you can see that Alex Pereira, the busier fighter, is gonna not throw everything with power, especially when he throws his hands mostly, where Jason Wilness is gonna try to cut you off, land those low kicks. Power strikes landed, very similar, slight edge for Jason Wilness. Now my keys to glory for this belt for Alex Pereira. He needs to control the pace of that fight and he's gonna do so by using his movement, using his distance control. And when he has Wilness against the ropes, that's where he needs to mix his boxing and his knees. But Jason Wilness has to do what he does best and that's pressure fight, control the ring, try to get Poetan against the ropes, mix levels, hit the body. And like we really saw in his last fight, he really needs to finish with the legs. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening and a rematch four years in the making. But this time, the sport's biggest prize is on the line as a hometown hero tries to take the belt from the reigning Brazilian king. This bout sanctioned by the International Sport Kickboxing Association. And at the bell, your referee is Paul Nichols. From a sold out house in Utrecht to kickboxing fans watching around the world from the Netherlands to Nepal, it's time for glory! Let's meet the challenger fighting out of the black corner. He had a decisive third round technical knockout in Houston at Glory 63 this year. As a professional, his record stands at 31 wins, nine losses, one bout scored even, and nine career knockouts. He stands six feet one inch tall, 1.85 meters, and he weighed in officially at 186.1 pounds, 84.4 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Utrecht, the Netherlands. He is the former glory middleweight champion of the world. He is Jason Psycho Wilness. His opponent fighting out of the white corner in his fourth defense of the belt, rides a five fight winning streak. He holds a professional record of 29 wins with just six losses, 18 of those 29 wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.94 meters, he went in at 186.7 pounds, 84.7 kilograms. He's here tonight, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, and is the reigning and defending glory middleweight champion of the world. He is Alex. Poetan Pereira! And your referee in charge of this championship bout is Paul Nichols. Gentlemen, you understand the rules that you're fighting to. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. World title fight, I expect you to fight for it. Touch gloves if you like, push back. Judge, judge, judge. It's a lion Tiger. versus a tiger for the middleweight championship of the world. Psycho Wilness in the black gloves, Poetan Pereira in the white. Nice body kick to start things and a spinning shot from Pereira. There's that completeness we're talking about. Being able to mix his punches, kicks and knees. And Joe, we've seen in the past that Wilness a bit of a slow starter sometimes. Can he afford to do that? Well, I still think he needs to be patient. He's got to figure out Pereira's reach, his distance. But I'm telling you, Jason Wilness, his best success is going to be attacking the legs and trying to get Pereira against the ropes. Exchange low kicks. Wilness told us this week he doesn't believe that Pereira is a true kickboxer. Says he's just a boxer that's doing kickboxing. Pereira did not like that. Wilness now trying to attack those legs. Nice outside low kick. And in his last fight, we saw Wilness really mix up outside and inside low kicks. But it was the insides to Rodriguez's leg that ended up getting him that TKO finish. Oh, high kick! Wow! Alex Pereira! My goodness! And he's busted Wilness wide open! Five, 
six. That looked like it hit his hand. Goes up, Gee, goes what up. power that Pereira had. And now Pereira going for the oh! finish. What a leapy knee. Down One, twice is Jason two, Wilness. He doesn't three, know what's hit him. It's no and that's it. It's over. a head kick for the first one, and then he came in with a flying switch knee to the head. There's Alex Pereira for you. One of the best knockout performances I have ever seen in my three years here at Glory. Alex Pereira, sensational. Yeah, he really had to make a statement here. Man, Pereira, the way he makes it up. I told you, he was circling, he was staying patient, but then all of a sudden, boom, that high kick came. And then right away, he knew Wilness was hurt, and that's when he just came on for the finish. Wilness said, as I mentioned, Pereira's just a boxer. Well, guess what? He got dropped twice with a kick and a knee. The hands weren't needed. Yeah, and that, that knee went right to the, the nose of Jason Wilness. Looked like he busted his nose with it, but you see that quick, explosive oh. head kick that just landed inside of that hand. Very smooth, very quick. Yeah, that foot just made its way right in between the temple and the glove. But then right away, he did that flying switch knee. And that set up so beautifully because it was the right kick that did the first knockout. And then he brings that right leg up thinking it's coming, but then he oh switched and found that goodness. left one. It was Jason Wilness predicting, uh, predicting something from the right side. And that's why that switch knee, left knee was so perfect to the head. Incredible stuff. We hope Jason Wilness is okay. But wow, Alex Pereira. Now, Joe, the question is not only how good is Pereira, but is he the best pound for pound fighter Glory has right now? Well, after he's, making, well, he's making a big case for it. I mean, you got Rico Verhoeven obviously with the most title defenses, but he just defended the middleweight title for the fourth time. So you got to put him down as probably the best middleweight we've had and potentially one of the pound for pound. Five straight wins for Alex Pereira and Glory. Four of those were title defenses, and look at this, switch yeah. knee. It was Al it was Jason Wilness predicting a kick from the right side. Kind of opens up his guard a little bit, but then that switch came. Oh, just nasty. Like I'm saying, Pereira's boxing and knees are second to none. And that is Alex Pereira's sister who made the trip here from Brazil. She's also a fighter, but I guarantee you she's never seen a knockout like that. Yeah, he's got to feel good. I think he has his dad in his corner, too. It just feels great. And now he's looking at his toe, so maybe he broke his toe. I think we're looking at a top 10 highlight on SportsCenter from Alex Pereira here from Glory in Utrecht. Amazing stuff from the Brazilian and still the middleweight champion of the world. We welcome you back to Utrecht, and if you're just joining us, shame on you. We just witnessed perhaps the knockout of the year from Alex Pereira against Jason Wilness. 
We make it official now as we go into the ring and Tim Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. Our referee Paul Nichols steps in and waves off this contest with an official time of one minute, 31 seconds of that very first round, declaring your winner by knockout and still glory middleweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. Here to present the belt, our chief executive officer, Marshall Zelaznik, from talent operations, Ramon Dalder and our Managing Director of Sport, Mr. Cor Hemmers. Let's speak now with the champion, Alex Pereira. Congratulations. We told you in the fighter interviews that Jason Wilness felt that you were just a boxer, not a true kickboxer, but your two knockdowns came from a kick and a knee. What did you show the world tonight? I showed you what you showed today. I Thank you. Eu mostrei que eu evoluí de 2012 para cá, 2015 em Dubai. É, não era só boxe contra um cara completo do kickboxing, é dois caras completos. Admiro o trabalho dele, de toda a equipe dele, está de parabéns. E muito obrigado por proporcionar essa grande luta, esse grande espetáculo para esse povo. Uh, they keep saying that, but since 2012, I did not but improve myself and my skills. And tonight it was nothing but not like a boxer kickboxer, but it was a glory kickboxing style for both of them. And I just want to say that we have absolute respect for Jason Williams Kent, he's a gentleman, and this is it. Your mother, I mean, excuse me, your father and your sister are here. She's in tears right now. What does it mean to you and your family to win a fight like this? It's very important for me, it's very important for my team, for my family, for my father who's here. Quando, antes de começar a luta, ele falou, Alex, me dá esse presente, nocauteia. E eu consegui dar esse presente para ele e um presente para o público, independente de que é amigo do Jason ou não. É muito importante para mim ter minha família aqui, no the logo right before the fight. Meu pai olhou para mim e disse, dê-me esse gift, dê-me o knockout. E isso não é um gift só para eles, isso não é sobre o Brasil, Holanda ou o mundo. É apenas, você sabe, é um Wi-Fi mundial. Eu estou aqui para apoiar todos. Eu quero agradecer a todos por me apoiarem. Vamos ver os knockouts na tela grande. Fale-nos sobre o que você está fazendo aqui quando voltamos a olhar agora. É, o chute, todo mundo sabe que o Jason é muito bom no chute, chutes fortes, eu estava esperto, estava me movimentando mais, não estava parando nas cordas, que eu acho que é o que ele queria, me encurralar, e eu consegui colocar um chute em cima, mas eu estava colocando sempre o chute embaixo, para ele achar que só ia chute embaixo. So Jason came with the game plan to, you know, follow him, cut the angles, Alex knew about that, knew about his kicks, so he faked a few kicks in the bottom before we went upstairs, and then after that you could see a flying knee, and this is it. So now you've won the middleweight title. You've defended it for a fourth time. Who do you want to fight next? É, eu não, não escolho atleta. Eu não escolho adversário. É, que venha o melhor. Eu vou estar bem preparado, com certeza. E como sempre falei, quero fazer é, uma uma luta na categoria de cima contra o Arden Vakitov e espero que ele aceite. I don't choose names, I choose the best, and right now I want to fight whoever is the best. And I already spoke that about, and I really want to do a super fight against the champion of 205. So you want to fight Artem Vahitov, you want to go up a division, that's what you'd like to do? É, você falou que queria lutar com Vakitov, é uma coisa que você quer fazer? Sim. All right. Congratulations once again, a fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world today, Alex Poatan Pereira. Congratulations, Alex Pereira defending his title for the fourth time in spectacular fashion here in Utrecht. But we still got a little bit of our closing remarks from Todd and I when we come back.